right, this is M587. So it says the height of a cylinder is the length of a line segment drawn from one base to the other base, perpendicular to both bases. So we're going to um, sketch a cylinder and then kind of label what that height means. So if I had kind of like an upright cylinder, you could start by drawing kind of like an oval and then lines going down and then kind of a curved base, something like that. So for this, the height would be this right here, basically how tall it stands up. However, that might be confusing if it's on its side. So if it was on its side, still draw the circle, lines going off to the side, curved base, something like that. Now the height is not how tall it's standing. It's still basically that length connecting the circle base and the circle top. So actually the height in this case would be that. So it's always that same length from the, the base to the top, even if it's on its side. So on five it says, identify the radius um, diameter and the height of each cylinder, just kind of getting used to what these dimensions are. So on A, nine is gonna be the radius. The diameter is gonna be the entire thing. So the whole thing across, going to be the diameter. So in this case that would actually be 18. And the height is going to be the 11. On B, the height is this 4. Here we have this dimension going all the way across the circle. So this is the diameter. And the radius is half of that. So sometimes they'll give you the diameter instead and you have to figure out the radius, so they'll just be half. So in this case, it's three centimeters. 